Hi, this is Paul from Reliable POD, and this is a tutorial on how to create designs for our t-shirts and upload them into our Shopify app. First thing you'll need to do is get uh, a copy of the templates. And to do that, if you go across to our website, find the product that you're looking for, and then scroll down to templates. There you'll find an overview of the sizes, uh, the format, and you'll have a t-shirt template for the front and a t-shirt template for the back. And then there's also a copy of this video here, which you can watch to uh, understand how to use the templates and create decent artwork for your shirts. If you also scroll down at the bottom of the page, you'll find that we've got several mock-ups for t-shirts that are yours free to download. You can drop your own designs onto them and use them for Instagram, Facebook, or your website, or whatever you deem necessary. If you've not used product mock-ups before, then there's a video here showing you how to use them. Uh, they are for Photoshop only. So, download the templates, then open them up in your graphics program. I'm using uh, Photoshop, but this works the same in any graphics software. First thing you'll notice on the template is the size. We work in pixels and uh, the, the full bleed image size for our t-shirts printable area is 2520 wide by 3598 pixels high at 200 dpi. Uh, so basically, if you created a design that size that filled that up, that's the entire front print of the shirt. And I think that equates, if we look at the website, to 14 inches high by 10 inches wide or centimetres 35 by uh, 25 centimetres. So uh, a lot of issues people face when creating t-shirt designs online is knowing where to place the image so it's replicated uh, on your shirt. We try to make that easy because generally there's three main places where people want to put images, either on the left breast, which we refer to as the badge, straight across the chest, or generally a full image that goes on there. So. When you're creating designs for our Shopify app, you have to make the entire design this size to the pixel. If you're one pixel out, it won't let you upload it. The reason we do that is because on lots of products we've got, we have to resize images to fit different variants of the product. So we have to be precise about that. So you do need to make sure the image size you're uploading is this big, even if you're only uploading this uh, breast pocket. And I'll show you how to do this through this video. So let's start off and say you're going to create a design that just wants to go here for the badge. So here is a design that I created. If I copy that, and you can see the image size on that is roughly 900 by 865 at 200 dpi. So that will give you some idea of the size you need to create if you're just doing a breast pocket. If you then paste that on, and then you can move that to wherever it wants. If you drop that roughly in that area on that yellow mark there, that would be printed exactly on the breast pocket if you wanted to make it a little bigger control t and then hold the shift key and just pull and then drop the arrow key and then you're maximizing the breast pocket area so if that's all you wanted and you wanted to present that artwork to the app what you would have to do is we only accept pngs not jpegs on our app so you would come down to the background layer, unlock it, then delete the background layer, and then you would simply do file and save as PNG. And what that then does is it saves an image that's the entire size of that page with no background color. So that will print out exactly where you want it when we reproduce it on the printers. So that's how you would do the breast pocket. 
if you wanted to uh, put a design straight across the chest then I believe we've got one there that I've created if we look at the size of that that's basically 2427 by a thousand high at 200 dpi so if I copy that and then if I paste that on let's drop that in you can see it's roughly the right size to go across the top and these are just approximate on the top but if you drop them in there that's exactly where they'll be pasted you don't have to worry uh, about uh, them going anywhere else and then when you upload them into the app the app will generate them on the mock-ups exactly in the right place and when you drop the design into any of the mock-ups that we give away free off the website they'll also drop exactly the right place so again, you've got them across the breast pocket where you'd like them. You need to save that as a PNG. Come down to the background layer. Delete the background layer. File, save as, and save it as a PNG. And again, that will upload perfectly. Then the final option that you've got is if you want to create a full image uh, for the chest print, basically find your image most people will want to load them in like this drop the image in control t hold the shift key and enlarge to where you want it somewhere like that we'll position it centrally on the t-shirt so it looks correct looks as though that's balanced centrally and again, once you're happy with that, delete the background layer, file, save as PNG. So that's the front print. If you want to do the rear print, it's very much the same. Only the shoulders, most people want it right across the top of the shoulders. So let's take this image. Drop that onto the back. And then move that up. And basically that will print right across the shoulders at the top uh, on the back and again if you want to remove the background layer unlock the padlock delete it file save as png so that you're saving the whole template size and not just this size and it'll upload perfectly the t-shirt template works for all of them exactly the same for the ladies t-shirts the bella canvas and for the Gildan ones, any of our T-shirts have this size. The hoodies, uh, they're a different size. The sweatshirts are the same size. The hoodies have a uh, square for the front because of the pocket down at the bottom. Hope that helps. Give me a shout if you need anything. Thank you very much. Bye.